Not everyone knows how I killed old Philip Mathers, smashing his jaw in with my spade. But first, it's better to speak of my friendship with John Divney, because it was he who first knocked old Mathers down by giving him a great blow in the neck with a special bicycle pump which he manufactured himself out of a hollow iron bar. Divney was a strong, civil man, but he was lazy and idle-minded. He was personally responsible for the whole idea in the first place. He was the one who gave the orders on the occasion and also the explanations when they were called for. He said the place was not everything that it might be and talked of getting a hired man. I did not agree with this and told him so, saying there was no necessity for more than two men on a small farm and adding, most unhappily for myself, that we were poor. We will have to see what we can do about getting money for your book. And indeed, I am in need of some myself because you can't expect a girl to wait until she's too old to wait any longer. There's little to tell about the murder. Everything was very still with no sound in our ears except the dripping of the trees. Our bicycles were hidden. I was leaning miserably on the spade and Divney, his iron pump under his arm, was smoking his pipe contentedly. The old man was on us before we realized there was anyone near. I could not see him well in the dim light, but I could glimpse a spent, bloodless face peering from the top of the great black coat which covered him from ear to ankle. Here, wake up! Finish him with the spade! 